Well, good afternoon. Joining us today from the Baldwin County Sheriff's Department, Andre Reed. Give me one of these things there, Andre. Hey. Good to have you with us. Yes, sir. Glad to be here. And he's going to be taking part in the big uh, Baldwin County Barbecue and Blues Festival. It's this weekend. We'll tell you more about it in a second. But tell me first what this beautiful thing is right here in front of me. That is a brisket. It's a Packer brisket. Uh, so I thought I'd cook that for you guys and show you what I have. Well, you've got no argument here. Now, I am told brisket is one of the trickier things to try and, and um, to create. I think so, and that's why I thought I'd bring it out. Uh, maybe I can give a few tips to people that uh, you know, are a little afraid to try it on their own. Okay, get me started. First of all, you've got a beautiful piece of, of uh, cow here, and, <laughs> and uh, wh what do you do with it? Yep, I do. Um, so this is a 12-pound brisket, and first thing I would do is, during the prep, I trim it before I season it. So mm -hmm. I've already trimmed this side. You can kind of see uh, all this fat off the top is missing. Right. So what I do is just come through here and cut all this stuff off and uh, just make sure it's removed. With a very sharp knife. That's right. A sharp knife is really handy. And also, a little tip, if it's cold, it's a little easier to cut. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. And you would cut off that hard fat That's over there, too? Any hard fat, I would cut that off. And then okay. under the bottom, I'd like a quarter inch of fat on the bottom. Okay. All right. Now, the next thing you would do is to rub it. That's right. I'll go with the rub. Uh, I'll grab one more thing. I like to use a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Rub it around on the outside. It makes the uh, rub stick a little better. And I like a Texas style brisket. Okay. And so it's just uh, coarse ground black pepper and kosher salt. Make right. sure it's kosher, not table salt. And coarse pepper. Uh, and if you want to cheat. That's it. I love Montreal steak seasoning. It's there you a go. cheat code. And uh, a little bit of onion, garlic maybe in there with that's the. With the there that's it. It's 50 50 black powder or. Uh, I'm sorry, black pepper and uh, <laughs> kosher salt. So. Yeah, that black powder one, uh, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's right. spicy. All right, so we're good here. Let's move that and then show me what you do. Uh, you're going to cook this for how long and at what heat? So that's always the question is how long. And actually, I would tell you, let's cook it to a certain temperature. So I have one of the probes that I would use, and mm -hmm. I would monitor the temperature. I would get it up to about 175 degrees internal, mm -hmm. then wrap it in foil. Right. Take it up to 203 degrees internal. You've got the fanciest set of thermometers I've ever seen here. Uh, but you can get one for 12 bucks. That's right. I got that one from Walmart for $12. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't have to be the very expensive thing. All right. So the, I love any show where you get to use something like this. Show me what we do and why we do it. Uh, so one other thing I do is when I trim this, I'd like to cut off the edge so I mm -hmm. know uh, where that is. And you can see that here on this brisket. Right. Well, I've already done it. So I can cut across the grain. So slicing is really important to make sure that your brisket ends up being really good. So um, I'm actually going to take off okay. a glove. All right. Just get a couple of slices off that. And while you're doing it, tell me about the festival that's coming up uh, this weekend. Yeah. Um, so the Foley Barbecue and Blues will be coming up this weekend. This is actually our 10th year uh, participating in the event. Uh, it's a great family event. I think there are 34 teams this year. They have 50 different vendors. So they'll have arts and crafts there. They have a kid zone where the kids can play. It's just a wonderful time to come out, and uh, the money goes to the local school, so nothing better. You, you can't go wrong. And by the way, this guy won the first one, and how many times since? We've won. We've placed six different times. Uh, we won our very first event, and that's what kind of locked us in and got us back. But oh, you're aiming that right yep. there real quick. Can we just cut a chunk off of that? And that's, right. that's what we want to so see. So get right on there. out there, and you get to taste these things, too, when you it comes with your ticket price. There's a Friday night event and Saturday all day long. So... Andre, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you.